How's it going everyone? I am back with another GT Online video and this one's going to be about the things, top 5 things that I would want to remove from GTA to improve the game. So let's go ahead and get on into it. But if you guys are new to my channel, I'll appreciate it if you were to subscribe and hit the like button. I would be much appreciated of you and it would be nice if you could just support the channel and let's go ahead and get into number 5. Alright, so for number 5, something that like just bothers me is raids that's my uh, choice here it's because they just come in at the most annoying time and they're really meant to just like make you get discouraged and buy into shark cards but it's like that really never happens you know like I never get raided no but you it's pretty hard to get raided really I mean all you gotta do is really just take out a few guards and go track down a van drop it back and that's really about it it's nothing too challenging and the NPCs that you're fighting they're really not that great you know they all just have like just SMGs or something casual like that, like a pistol. And just raids are, they're kind of dumb, they're pointless, they waste time, and they just have no cause. Like, you know, I feel like they put them in to make it seem more realistic or something like that, but it's not like, you know, you have five businesses that are, each one's getting raided two times a day. That just makes no sense. But like this one story that I have is one time I was about to just like start like an online class or something like that and I was getting onto a GTA and buying supplies and I was gonna go AFK in my nightclub uh, cameras and before that when, right when I was about to uh, buy my supplies for my MC businesses my stuff started, started getting raided so I was like alright well now I have to guess now I just have to let my business get raided because I don't have the time for this I have to you know get onto a zoom class here in five minutes but you know each raid takes about you know ten minutes or so and most of the time, I usually have about two to four happen at a time. It's never just one, or sometimes it might be just one, but it's usually like three or so that I have to do. And it's just like, okay, this is this does not to be in, does not need to be in the game. It's just a waste of time. But that's what I have for uh, number five. All right, so for number four, something that I think this is one that a lot of people can agree on, and that is the just orbital cannon. <coughs> like all it does is, it's literally just meant to just like basically grief people I mean I don't see how it's gonna be helpful in any scenarios you know if you can't use it in any heist then there's really no use to it you can't use it in any missions you know I mean there's a, like right now this gameplay you're watching is me just selling my nightclub if some, someone could literally just press two buttons and just blow up my entire thing right now right here but you know since I you know there was nobody in the session so I was alright but you know somebody could easily just do that if they wanted to and had the feeling to do that but the orbital cannon is just it's a really cheap thing and it's got one purpose and that's just to destroy your stuff and that's really about it and you know I, I think everybody does I like, would agree with that you know there's probably some people that's be like oh no it's cool it's fun to use it's just like nah you're just kind of weird for thinking that but whatever but that's what I have for number four and now I'm going to tell you guys what I have for number three number three is just the KD stat overall the game isn't based by the KD that a person has, you know. Too many people take that into consideration and think it makes the game what it makes the game, basically. And that's, like, the whole purpose of the game, I guess. But it's, like, no. I mean, people, like, will say that they're good at, like, PvP, but if they're playing in auto-aim, how can you be good when the game does the aiming for you? And if you're in free aim, then, I mean, it's a PvE. It, you're literally using a PvE situation for a pvp you know the way that gunfights work in gta are meant for you know a player versus just an npc or some just like computer type thing not like getting another actual online player so that's the reason why i think pvp in this game is just not good because it's not really meant for a pvp but kd stat if that got out of the game i think that would make some people happy you know i'm sure it would make some people rage quit and leave the game and never come back to it which i'll be fine with those people left and I think that just could that would just overall improve the game, just getting rid of that single stat because those who care for it so much would just leave the game since it wouldn't be in the game anymore. Alright, so for my second to last thing that I want to say is just for number two I have overpowered NPCs. I don't know what it is, I feel like they think that like everybody just has like the best weapons and everybody's using RPGs, miniguns and every single, you know, mission, every single high setup or whatever that they're doing against these guys but I mean NPCs will literally I mean they're just cracked they're cracked like they literally I've been sniped off of my oppressor just the normal oppressor not the mark 2 just the normal oppressor by an NPC 
one of the avon guards during the uh, casino heist uh, laser drills where you go out to Fort Zancudo and have to like, go to like that little building where there's two individual drills at. I've been sniped off of my oppressor and I was just like, I can hardly even do that if I tried, you know? If somebody was flying on an oppressor, I would probably go through about 20 to 30 bullets before I would hit one of those bullets from somebody flying on an oppressor. But then you got these just NPCs who are lasering you first time, you know, first shot and just completely just obliterate you off of your oppressor. So I think NPCs, those need to be taken down, toned down a bit because, you know, there's many other guards who it will take, like, if you just have a carbine rifle Mark II and shoot a Merryweather guard three times in the head, and that's how you have to kill them. They have no headgear. You can shoot them once and they won't die for some reason. It's like they have skulls and they have guard or something. But that's basically it for uh, number two. And now I'm going to get to the number one. And number one is just really the Oppressor Mark II. Now, maybe they don't need to get rid of it completely, but they definitely should change it to where ways that I think they can improve the Mark II and make it more balanced is it can't lock onto other players and also that the missiles are like have don't have as well as good as homing like the uh, buzzard if the buzzard and the mark II were to switch their missiles i think that would make a really good balance because the buzzard is an attack hel helicopter but like its missiles are so bad that it just doesn't hit anything that you try to shoot at and the mark II, it's like why does this flying bike that you can easily access and only costs like three million can just it has 20 missiles too that just have the best homing in the game really I mean some of the best maybe not the best but the second best you know maybe just below like the Stromberg and the Ruiner 2000 and the Vigilante and stuff like that it's basically up there with those vehicles too but that's really just the main thing about the Mark II is that it's just overpowered and should be changed and there's really nothing I mean if they got rid of it I'd be happy I'd be happy with that and fine with it I don't think it really needs to be taken out, but this definitely it needs to be altered and changed to just become a new and more balanced vehicle in the game because you can really just obliterate 10 people with, you know, 10 missiles in that thing. But they just need to change the missiles with, you know, not as great homing and basically make it not home onto, make it lock onto online players and it only lock onto NPCs. That's what I would make you make a change about the Mark II. And they could even. They can maybe maybe give it like a speed boost or something like that if they did that change, you know. Because I'm pretty sure right now it only goes about like 130 through the sky. Maybe they could change it to where it goes. Maybe like around 140 or so, make it a little faster. Or maybe make the thruster, you know, a little bit more usable through the air. But that's basically what I want to have to say about the uh, Mark II. And that's my number one spot. But that overall are the top five things. I just want GTA to have out the game and remove because I think those are ways that the game could benefit and it would be back to just more casual and more fun versus having to always run away from some oppressor who's just trying to ruin your day. But if you guys like these type of videos, put your thoughts down below. If you guys are new and haven't already subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did. But I'll see you guys in the next one and I'm out. Peace.